bloopers. Send this to your friends or the president without any context. It's fun. When you send this to your mom or your dad, you better tell them that this is nothing. Don't listen to it unless they do listen to it. And then you're like, oh, well, crap. That was not a good idea. Ha ha. Death. Oh, oh, yes. Hello, Mr. President. Uh, it, uh, I didn't know you weren't actually listen to this ridiculous thing. Uh, let's just, you know what? I don't know what to say. You should probably stop listening. Who sent this to you anyway, and how? Hmm. Your nose hairs. <laughs> nose hairs. <laughs> nose hairs. Nose hairs. <laughs> I can't. I can barely say that without laughing. Like, wow. Alcohol is cool, but you ever had someone care about you? Me neither. Pass the bow. What? It's a Sonic the Hedgehog meme. What? <laughs> I lost my tangerine potato smoothie. Can I check y'all's hairs for it? My cabbages! That's what I was told last time. Wait, is this thing on? Wait, okay, it is. Never mind. Fire! We like fire, fire, fun! And the winner of the Pyromaniac Primate Award is... He saw a fury. You're a furry. What happened to your legs? I'm half animal. No, you are a furry. No, I'm half goat. You look like a donkey. Half goat, let's go. So, like, I, so I walked out of my house this morning, and I saw, like, these guys that were, like, running around in circles, waving these, I think they were baseball bats, but they were crackling with electricity somehow, and one of them just, like, dropped it on his, on, like, a, a squirrel, and the squirrel just, like, shouted something very, some very rude things, and they just pulled out a machine gun and blew the dude away, and I was like... Okay, this is just normal. And they're like, okay, this is just a normal afternoon in Ohio. Normal morning in Ohio. And then I went back inside. Wake up. It's time for coffee. Take a shower. It's time for coffee. Go to work. It's time for coffee. Get fired. It's time for coffee. And probably by 5 o'clock will be time for coffee. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. How many cups of coffee do you drink in one day? Maybe that's why he got fired. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. Everything seemed to go wrong, and there was only one way I could fix it. Not sure I could do it, but it had to be done. And if I'm being honest, this was the best time to do it. There's a sale on eggs at the grocery store today. I hope I can make it. <laughs> that sounded so sad. I don't want to hug you. And that's coming from me. Imagine a party with dresses and cake, singing, dancing, cake. And then there's a magic act that's all like Regina, George, like in half. Yeah. So we kill her because like nobody likes her because she like. Totally didn't make me, like, the loser in 8th grade. That's not the point. So, like, it's a revenge. Like, we're gonna kill her, and then, like, but not actually. You're gonna pretend to, like, push her in front of a bus. Like, yeah. That's Mean Girls in a nutshell. Just, yeah. Coming this summer, two people live. That's all they do. This is, insert the words, here. Cake makes me explode. Is this what this is gonna be? Just a bunch of references to stuff? I guess so, it's the only thing I got. Uh. Hey! All I do is I stand here and I press record and stop. That's all I do. 
No one appreciates me. Hey, hey, hey! Who's done recording now? Me saw who, and someone missed that guy. No, now that guy's dead. Who thinks me saw who? Who you see me then? Me saw who? Me saw who? So there's this one guy at my school that like walk, walked up to me one day and he said hi. And then I said hi. And then we just looked at each other for a couple of minutes. Then I punched him in the face and then walked away. I'm living the dream. It's just one of those dreams and you're like losing all your teeth. And if you think that it gets better, take a look at me. It's the same dried ramen in a bowl I'm too lazy to clean. But I'm not drunk texting my ex anymore. Mother, are you proud of me? But I won't wear the cat ears. I won't. I won't wear the cat ears. It's not an eggy go hoodie. It's a work of art. I see you. Yes, and you. And you. All of you. Yes, even that guy over there who's eating chips. Yes, also you. Even you, fat guy in Australia. I can see you. I see all of you. You get the cabbage! You get the cabbage! Everybody gets the cabbage! We find the skull here has a full set of teeth, and this idiot goes, You think it's a bird? <laughs> you think it's a bird? <laughs> you think it's a bird? No, I <laughs> eyes crossed! You think it's a bird? <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Boo! Yeah, unicorn! It's too when you're bored in a recording studio. It's not yeah. a yeah. It's a basement. We're just like a bunch of guys just sitting around. We're just running around. Yeah, weirdos. Two guys, two women. Yeah, but just a bunch of weirdos yeah. just chilling in a recording studio just talking about random stuff. Yeah, we're just filming random things. Filming <laughs> yeah, because we're bored. And it's fun. I think we've got, I think this has gone on long enough. Okay, dude, recording dude, hit it, hit the recording, hit it, stop, stop button. Okay. Hello, my name is Stuffy Post, my dad owns like the Chrysler Company, and like one of the summers when I was like 15, me and a group of kids, we all like went lived by this lake and this kid got hit by a truck it was actually it was a rusty blue dot that's so very important and his twin kissed her, her him on the lips before he died yeah disgusting twin cest am i right and then like we all found this like random heron like on a lake right so then like after we found the hair on the lake we, one of my friends was like, hey, let's kill the dad. I was like, don't do that. But I kind of liked him at the time, so it was fine. So then he, like, almost killed the dad. But then he didn't kill the dad. But then the dad of the, like, dude who killed the son died. And we were, like, at his house when he died. It was a whole entire thing. And then later that summer, me and the group of kids all, like, planned to, like, rip up the dude's house to make it think his dad was, like, trying to kill him. And then... He died the next day because the girl with, like, the kiss of death, her name was, like, Charlotte or something, Charlie, I don't know, killed him. And then I grew up to be a criminologist. And, like, my husband's, like, super hot because he's a criminologist. It's great. Is anybody listening? Oh, okay. Oh, they, they've all gone to, like, do something else. Okay. Oh, uh. How's anybody else hearing this? Help! I, I, I'm trapped in the studio. They, 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 they dragged me in here in the middle of the night. They, they found me in a dark alley. They dragged me in here in the middle of the night. And they forced me to just make be, say stupid things for the TV show that they posted on YouTube. And, uh, oh, uh, they're, they're, they're going to get back out now. My name is... Yeah, they, like, trapped me here, too. I don't know where I am. I don't even know what my name is. I woke up here, and they told me to, like, read these line things. It's a bunch of kids. I don't know where I am. Tell my mom I love her. I think her name is, like, Marie or something. Ah! Say something funny. Um, well, um, okay, um, let's see. Your Turtles mom. can breathe through their butts. <laughs> Really? Frozen too? Really? It's true! I know. So they can actually. They can breathe. I know. <laughs>
But I, I'm you like... to tell us this? We already all know it. I... Yeah, well, um, alright, you should probably stop this now. It's so, like... Stop. Fine. Or maybe you could just break down the door. I'm 147 pounds of pale skin and fragile bone, okay? Sarcasm is my only defense, Scott. My only defense. Uh, and he does. And then he does break down the door, and it's actually kind of funny. Uh, okay. Then, then he goes into a club. It's, it's fun. Okay, you can stop him. So one day, I met this weird person sitting on the side of the road, and I said, hi, and he said, hi, and then there was just a little bit of awkward silence for a little bit, and I'm like, and then I just left, and then all of a sudden, a car exploded out of nowhere, like, I mean, why? Like, how does that even make any sense? Like, how would the car explode like that? It was, like, all alone. So how did it explode? I mean, like, seriously. Then I walked home, and I had a peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Then I lay down in my bed. And died. I did not die! I had a really weird dream. That I'm like trapped in this recording studio and you guys are making me record a bunch of weird stuff. And yeah, okay, so but that's all I got. See you later. Peace! I'm in a coma and I'm dead. <laughs> what? If you're in a coma, how are you talking? <gasps> Shit, you're in my mind. Duh. <laughs> you realize it's still recording? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna be done right now, y'all. Okay, so one day I was walking down the road, or the street or whatever, or the sidewalk, and all of a sudden this weird Japanese lady just pops up out of nowhere. I mean, there's no Japanese people in our town. And then she just starts singing. And all of a sudden I'm transported into this weird world, and there's like binary everywhere. And I have to just like do Mario style platform jumping. And then I have to. I don't know where, where but that's when they have the sword? And then I killed someone. <laughs> hey, I told you to say, yeah. <laughs> British lady singing, not British, Japanese. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then I had to kill, and then I had to kill someone. I don't know why, they were in my way and I had to kill him. Ah, uh, ah, uh, they got better though. <laughs> they died. They got better. They got better. <laughs> Yay. After they died, they got better. I was in the weird world of binder after some weird Japanese lady transported me with her robotic singing. That's weird, bro. Later, I found out that she was. Later, I found out that she was an envoy from a secret extra a secret interdimensional organization bent on eradicating problems, and they recruited me. And so now, what? Like the Matrix. Yeah, kind of, but. Now, so they recruited me, and now I'm here with a bunch of morons. Hey! And her. <laughs> and her. Oh, you oh. just bam. Okay. Finish up your thing. Um, yeah. yeah. You moron. Yep. Uh, and uh. Yeah. I think that the Japanese, that that weird robot Japanese mechanical AI Japanese lady is gonna come back to me against my new mission. So. Smell you later. Hi. <laughs> I told you. I told you you guys were gonna be weird at all. Your face. <laughs> wait, wait. I wish you guys could see wait, his wait, face. I'm sorry. It's just wait, audio. Stop laughing. One second. <laughs> Coming soon to theaters. Four kids, one recording studio, and a bunch of stupid crap <laughs> that they come up with. Here it is, coming to you. Bloopers. Potato. The world's first bionic superhumans. They're stronger than us. Faster. Smarter. The next generation of the human races. What is it?
Coming soon, three mice live in a house somewhere at some point in time, and they are blind, and they sing and play terrible notes on the trumpet. This is the next generation. Bum, bum, bum. And then their tails are cut off with a carving knife. No, 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 nice. that doesn't happen. And also, you're not supposed to spoil it. We have to ha we have a script. Don't you dare! Don't you dare cut this! Alright. And then, they must do something to stop someone from doing something that will be bad. And they fail. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You can't spoil the movie. They might win. They might fail. They'll Nobody fail. knows. Nobody knows what's inside of your head except for you. Oh. And uh, anyway, I'm not done. I'm not done with this thing yet. Okay, so I'm like, just one second. Okay. And then the movie's over. So yeah. Done. Coming soon to theaters, possibly near you. Chicken. A title. A title that is totally irrelevant to the movie. You totally think about it? Well, I did. I don't want to feel a thing anymore. I'm tired of begging for the things that I want. You oversleep like you're a dog on the floor. Imagine living like a king for a day. A single night without a ghost in the wall. We'd rather die than lift a rust on the ground. Hail Mary, forgive me. Blood for blood, hearth be. <laughs> stop, just stop. I hate that. Why'd I do that? King for a day, pierce the veil. So we've got an entire we got an entire entire countries after our heads. And pretty much no weapons and no way to do it. Well, what if I told you there was a way to stop this? Huh? Hey, random guy who's always, who's just randomly standing behind my shoulder. Do we still have that pocket-sized time machine? Yep. Wait, what? You're just now revealing to me that we could have time-traveled? Well, yeah. What? How long has this been an option? It's always been an option. It never came up before now. <sighs> well, time travel is incredibly dangerous, so... We haven't charged it for like 10 years. <laughs> uh, so how are we gonna charge it? With science, of course! <laughs> um, I am regretting this decision in so many ways I've right now. I have a weak hair in my sock. <laughs> hey, <laughs> time travel. Um, are we sure this is a good idea? Well, if we don't do it, entire countries are gonna get our heads. You said it yourself. I hate being right all the time. <laughs> this is the song that never <laughs> This is the song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Someone just started singing, not knowing what it was, and now I'm singing it just because this is the song that it never ends. Yes, it goes it on end. and what? on, my friend. Das Uberkatzen. Nein, das Krankenhaus! <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Can you say it in English, please, though? The Supercats. No, the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trip. Yeah. No, as in no, as like, no, don't do that. I know. No, oh, I thought it was the no, the hospital. No, no. Nine. Das Krankenhaus. Yeah, oh. nine. Nine!